everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's makeup tutorial I'm going to do for you is of Katy Perry from the video Who You Love that she does with her partner, uh, John Mayer. Now I love the song because I'm soppy and I think she looks the most beautiful she has ever looked. It's really nice and natural with a little bit more. If that makes sense, natural but a bit more. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. I hope you enjoy. So I've already moisturised my skin. I'm then going to take a little bit of Illamasqua Skin Base. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques Expert face brush. Now I'm using 07 in the skin base because that's my colour, but it does come in loads of colours. Now the reason I've gone for this foundation, which is quite a good coverage, is because in the video they make her look flawless. They've got like a yellowy lighting to it, which makes her look absolutely flawless. So this is quite a good coverage. So I too can look absolutely flawless. Right, I'm going to move straight onto the eyes. I'm going to take this MAC Paint Pot and this one is in Lay In Low. These are long wear and they are really hard to get off, I have to tell you. Because I popped the eyeshadows on yesterday so I could see that they made the right sort of colour. I'm going to use my finger and push that on. Yeah, I put them on yesterday and they were really hard to get off. Really hard. So this is just adding a slightly different tone to my eyes, slightly um, more sandy colour I suppose. I'm then going to take this Rimmel um, Scandalise and this one is in Rich Russet and I'm going to pop that on the back of my hand. See the kind of colour. And then I'm going to push that over the top. I might need to use a brush for this, we'll see. And this is going to give it that kind of shimmery wet look. I'm pretty sure she's probably got a cream colour over her eyes, but that's just not wearable for every day. It will crease like crazy. So by using these ones that set, we can still get a little bit of a shimmer, but they're going to stay put all day. Especially as it's going to have black liner with it, so the black liner would just run onto the top of your eye there. Which is very annoying. Another thing you could use over the top of the eyes is a pigment or even the Urban Decay palettes because they're really high shine. I'm then going to take a black gel liner. This one happens to be a Bobbi Brown, but so many brands do them now. And I'm going to take my silicone liner brush. It's quite tight, the liner in this part here. Then it goes much fuller in the back of the eye. love this, love, 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 because you can hold the brush any way and the bristles don't move because it's silicon, so if you want to go back on yourself or anything, you can. The liner I'm using is a bit dry actually, I'm going to take that inside the top water line. You know how I said this makeup was natural? Maybe it's a bit more than natural. The rest of it is really natural. It's just the liner that isn't quite so natural, I suppose. I'm just gonna pop that inside the waterline as well. And then I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow on a MAC 266 and I'm gonna push that over the top of the liner. So it doesn't matter if you're not very good at liner. because you're going to kind of smudge that liner a little bit so we're just going to pull it backwards to make that a bit more soft focus if that makes sense right I'm going to just curl my lashes I'm then going to add a little bit of mascara. This one is a um, Kiko or Kaiko Overblown Volume Mascara. Let's pop some of that on. Looks nice and black. That 
mascara is probably a little bit too much for me. Um, I had to brush it through afterwards. Now I'm then going to take Smashbox Always Sharp um, Waterproof Liner in Bare. Now my underneath liner should have set by now, so I should be okay to apply this because I want to apply it in the waterline. Next, for some individual lashes, I have got Amazing Shine in medium. I've also got them in short, and I'm going to kind of stagger them from the outside inwards, starting from medium on the outer corner. So dip a small amount of glue on, and then pop them on. Pop it on. Should have really done mascara afterwards. I didn't realise that mascara was going to be as full as it was. I'm then going to go in with the short ones. Oh, fiddly. So you can see how much fuller they make that on the outside. I'm going to actually put a few of them just over the long ones that we've got on so it makes that even thicker really pack it full of individual lashes natural makeup she said when i looked at it i thought it was quite natural okay so i've got tons of individual lashes on there um, loads and loads, and then going to move to the brows. I have got um, Shumure Hard Number Six, so it's a little bit softer than a normal one. Brow pencil. So once I've got a shape, I'm just going to take a spoolie and run that through there. And then I can see any gaps that I haven't quite filled. go in. I only want these to be reasonably soft. Sorry about the background noise chatting. Sam and Stace and I don't want to shout, shut up, we can hear you. So just rubbing through to soften that line so it looks like it's my brow rather than a drawn on brow. Just to add them a bit of texture, I'm going to pop a little bit of Ico Brow Gel. Love that. Right, I am now going to go back to the skin. Now, I brought my own concealer in. Kevin Aquan one. It's amazing. It's called um, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. Uh, mine is SX10. And um, basically it is um, a foundation and a concealer, so it can be used as a foundation if you mix it with a bit of moisturiser. I've had this one for months and I haven't even dented it. Months, months, months. Haven't even dented it. It's so brilliant. So I'm popping that on a deluxe crease brush. I'm just going to run that anywhere. I need a tiny bit more coverage. If you've got a blemish, this is the best. but it's not cheap. But then it lasts so long. So pros and cons to everything. I'm then gonna powder the skin into place. I'm gonna use um, MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in light. I'm just gonna take a multitask brush, pop that all over the skin. I'm then going to take a little bit of MAC Harmony um, and a blush brush. Small amount through the cheeks. And just so it's even, I'm going to take that right around the hairline. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of my Harmony just through here. 
And then for the lips, I've got Laura Mercier Plumberry. Take that lip liner all over the lip and that is it. This is my lip liner from home as well. Just going to soften that with my finger. So it's really soft, like you've got naturally that colour lips. Naturally dry lips. And there you have the finished. Uh, Katy Perry, you love who you love, or is it just called who you love? Makeup tutorial. Watch it, she looks so beautiful in it. She does a lot of looking into his eyes and slow blinking. Because they're so in love. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Have a lovely day, evening, whatever you are doing, and I will see you again soon.